set out for polyline cul-de-sac string. In this exercise we will import a 2D lip of curb polyline from CAD and create heights from a provided layout drawing. We're going to create a new project in 12D called cul-de-sac set out. Select new browse back up to the set out folder and type in cul-de-sac set out. Select new to create the project. We'll firstly close down the setup project details panel and the recalc panel. We will next read in the polyline. We select file, data input, dwg, dxf. We can select the relevant import method, browse for the file, so we select browse, browse back up to set out and select cul-de-sac.dwg. We put the prefix dwg space in front of the models. We're going to set the null level value to zero to ensure that any 2D data is nulled and we select read. A new view data import is created showing the imported data so we'll simply close this view down, finish on the option and turn the model on in plan view 1. The first step for looking and fixing up the polyline from CAD is to filter the string. Firstly we're going to toggle on the vertices and then toggle on vertex indices. Now this will actually then let you check for any duplicate vertices which can cause problems later if we try to parallel the string. And you can see the start of the string is there so vertex 1, 2 but it's also 3 four, five, six. So we've got two duplicate vertices here. So let's use an option to filter these out. We select the option utilities, A to G filter, and we use the option vertex filter. Okay, so we pick the string pick icon and pick on the string and accept. We leave it at 3D filter and we're going to put a 0 0.001 filter for both X, Y and Z value. We're going to replace the existing data and select filter. As soon as you do that now you'll see that it's filtered it out so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 and select finish. As the CAD drawing from the manual shows the actual arc split up into various parts, we need to do this as well. So to do this, we use the option Strings, Strings Edit, Segment Strings. Here we pick on the first segment and accept. We're going to segment it by five equal parts, so it's, the method is already number. We type in the number of parts to be 4 and select process. The next part will be, the next part will have 8 segments. So we pick the next segment, change the number to 8 and click process. And then we pick on the last part which again is going to be 4 change the number of parts to 4 and select process. We now have the string divided up into the segments as per the actual set out drawing. We're now going to add heights to the various points again from the set out drawings. So to do this we can use the option CAD vertex edit height we're going to start from this point and we're going to work our way around. So left click, middle click, 
type in the height of 34.07 enter if we then go to our toggle button and toggle on our z values you'll now see our heights appearing as we type in the heights for each point once we've put all the heights in the next step is to parallel the string so to do this we're going to firstly set up CAD control bar with the name offset 500 we're just going to put in a model name KB offset 500 we'll change the color to red and the string is going to be offset both horizontally and vertically so the command we're going to use here will be under the CAD string toolbar parallel now here we pick the string with direction which means we hold the left button down and keeping it held down we drag in the direction we created the string and release and accept the offset is minus 1.1 enter and the offset height is 0.11 enter this string can then be uploaded into a controller for set out or if required point numbers can be generated as per the example in previous set out options